hello and welcome to this video here we will see how to implement XML web service in Java using NetBeans so what we are going to do is we will create two applications one will be the server application which will have the XML web service and second one will be the client application which will call XML web services of web server and uh, the web service will be a simple web service uh, in which we will send a number as a parameter and then we will receive the output as the square of that number ok so let's see we are using NetBeans so we will create two application the first is the server app so go to new project java web web application project click next and it's a server app So we will use the Glassfish server. Click on finish. Okay, this is our server app, and this is the index.jsp. So we will write server is running. Okay. Now we will create a source package here. Java package as server pack okay then uh, we will add the web service so go to web services here is a web service option click next so the name of web service uh, the name of web service will be say server web service I click on finish so you will see here server web service dot java is created under server dot server pack and here is the new folder web services okay here is the hello web service that is the default web service we don't need this service so we will remove this service okay okay backspace okay. now we will insert our own service okay right click go to insert code and uh, add web service operation okay so the name of operation it's a get squ sqr get square okay so return type will be integer so now add parameter so the first parameter will be no no is the number and return type is uh, integer sorry parameter type is integer and its final integer it's the only one parameter okay so okay this is our web service get sqr is our web service and it will return zero so we don't want zero to be written so we are returning the square of number so no into no this is it now we will test our application so run the app server app okay, starting browser okay. okay our server is running now and we will test the web service here right click on web service and then test web service this is our web service tester so this is the get square method of web service so we will send the parameter as 10 and the method return 100 so our web service is working fine now we will create a new app the client app java web application client app and finish client app project has been created uh, this is the index.jsp so we will write client application now we will create a form the form will send parameter number to the web service of server and will receive the output from the web service ok so here we will create the form submit button that will invoke web service ok now we will run this program so this is our client application and it's running fine now we will add a reference to the web services in our client application so how to add go to file new file 
and uh, web services web service client click on next so we can use our localhost project or you can use the WSDL URL the methods are same okay so go to project then browse the projects so we have created the server app project and we have created the web service server web service okay so click on ok and then finish it will be automatically added to your client application the web service references okay so get square this is our web service we are going to call in our client app application okay so directly drag and drop the get square method the code will be generated automatically so this is the integer number we will receive the parameter but uh, parameter will be received as a string so we will convert it into integer integer dot parse int request dot get parameter number okay so we have received our parameter in a integer no now the result will be stored in result integer result equal to call to this web service with parameter no so our result will be in a integer result okay so square is result okay, this is it now we will rerun our application okay url is sent to our browser so this is our client application now we have to enter a number so say suppose we are entering 11 so invoke web service the square is 1 to 1 now we will say suppose 20 so it's 400 so our web service is working fine we have called the web services web service from client application and the server respond us correctly so this is it thank you for watching the video